Hello and welcome to today's review and today the book is the sensational historical novel Sins as Red as Scarlet by Janet Few. Now this story centres around the known facts about three impoverished Biddeford women who were subsequently hanged in the belief that they were witches. And beginning a story at the end might seem a bit, I don't know, sensational until we understand that this book is about how they lived. Because what Janet Few, the highly regarded genealogist, gives us is a family tree of sorts, a meticulous backstory to the characters and events that would determine what happened to these three women some 350 years ago. And that in itself is illuminating and necessary in order that we may understand the thinking and beliefs of the day. Through the clearly signposted narrative, we walk alongside the wealthy merchants prospering at the expense of those who lived in disease and squalor, struggling to earn a coin or a crust, where civil unrest sought to divide as preachers and lofty officials alike breathed fear into their flocks while suspicion and intolerance whispered under the doorways of hovels and mansion houses alike. Janet Few pens the language of the day as though she had merely popped down the garden through the ivy-clad archway to walk alongside our ancestors. She puts flesh on the bones of the dead and breathes life across the page. And then, in a masterstroke of storytelling, we step into the present-day world of a teenage outcast who treads her own tortured path through the image-conscience world of social media before history finally sets her free. And here we realise that little has changed, that the same intolerances and misguided beliefs still blight society today. But we are also reminded of the need to view history within the harsh reality of its time, where we should give consideration to the fate of these three wise women within that context. Through her lovely rhythmical writing, Janet Few creates an atmosphere using the local vernacular where few could argue with its authenticity. She conjures the voices of the 17th century citizens and of 21st century youth and plays those two instruments with all the authority of a genealogical time lord. Thrice the brindled cat hath mewed is a firm favourite of its time. But then other lines like, By what authority do you meet in this house? the sergeant roared. He's referring to an illegal prayer meeting, but you know, that could work just as well today. I have enjoyed this book immensely and probably learnt more about 17th century England than I ever did from my four years of history O-level. But more than that, this is a joy to read. It's well-directed, lyrical and enlightening. Janet Few is an author who brims with a rich heart of mahogany warmth. Her words print the page with empathy, kindness and a deep understanding for each and every character that she so eloquently brings to life. There we are, sins as red as scarlet. So, if you enjoyed that, uh, I'm sure that you need to have a little look in here. See if you'll enjoy this book yourself. It's very, very interesting. And Janet is, as I said, is highly regarded in the world of genealogy. Um, and she's certainly worth looking up um, for her other books and her, uh, her other works. Because, you know, we are all uniquely here, aren't we? And how we got here depends on, well, all that stuff that goes on in the past, which is actually very, very important. Um, so, yes, you are unique. Look her up, Janet Few. She's across social media and um, all the other places. You'll find her. Janet Few, brilliant genealogist. There we are. That'll get you there. Thank you. Thank you.